friends today's video is for the assignment cycle june 2024 this is for the semester three of finance management business management banking and finance management the subject is subject is cost and management accounting let's move to the question one how does an in-depth understanding of cost behavior fixed variable and semi-variable cost influence strategic decisions making within a company Provide a scenario where misinterpreting cost behavior could lead to flawed business strategy. Let's see. Answer we can find it in the chapter uh, four. Let's see the cost classifications and classification of cost according to the behavior. classification how this has been classified the behavior nature and all the details has been given here classifications accordingly and then you have a detail of uh, according to behavior is fixed cost variable cost semi variable uh, stepped fixed cost okay so here again um, uh, the classifications has been asked how the interpretation um, it will affect the business strategy. So for this, you have to write it like optimizing the price strategy, cost control and effect, efficiency improvement, product miss and resource allocation, um, budgeting and forecasting, investment and expansion decisions. So all these points you can, I mean, uh, you can select the points, but uh, some of the points you, you can elaborate in detail. What are these points? Because this information is very short for you to reach down to uh, the uh, conclusion. So right, go ahead and explore about these points and you can come up with some more points along with this. Uh, right in detail from the open sources. Okay, then question two. A toy company gives you the following data for a month. You are required to calculate the variance based on the profit. So here we have the toy category ABC and budget, budgeted and actual budgeted is the quantity you have it and rate you have it and then cost per unit. Then actual quantity is this 1700 and 1100 and the rate is 55, 95 and 78. Let's move on to the chapter variance based on the profits. Uh, for the chapter 8, 221. Variance based on profits. Let me just check. Volume variance. Uh, variance overhead. Oh, sorry, the page number and this one is two twenty one. Yeah, here comes variance based on profit. So you have a basic information here, and then uh, here is the uh, example which you can refer. It, it is very close to the exam question what has been asked in the uh, chapter. Uh, sorry in the assignment questions so here is the uh, values when close to it and then we have been asked only further um, you are required to calculate the variance based on the profit so here you have the variance uh, for all the difference one but uh, profit variance on the account of quantity of sales uh, you can take up so this this calculation is very close to the um, analysis of the variance is coming up here uh, profit variance due to less sales so i think this this you can um, uh, go ahead with uh, the final answers will be like actual profit how it has to come and then what is the variances analysis you have done for all the information okay so this 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 one has a very good um, uh, information and it this is going to be connected for the next answers also because here what they have done in a one example they have done multiple solutions here calculation of variances for and calculation of revised standard sales based on the actual sales profit variance 
so these are the different different uh, methodology so this problem is very important uh, you will see in the next examples as well next question as well in the question uh, 3a Z Limited initially planned to sell 5,000 units per month at an average price of rupees 10 per unit with the budgeted variable production cost of 4 per unit and fixed cost budgeted at uh, rupees 20,000 aiming for a monthly income of rupees 10,000. However, due to raw material shortage, only 4,000 units were produced, increasing production cost by 50 paisa per unit. To offset this, the selling price was raised to 1 rupee per unit. Additionally, uh, 1000 rupees was spent on research and development to enhance the production process. A performance budget needs to be prepared along with an analysis of the variance. So this is your first one question and the second one is, the variable cost to sales ratio stands at 70% while the break-even point happens at 60% of the capacity. With fixed cost amounting uh, uh, rupees 90,000, we need to determine the break even point sales. Additionally, compute the profit for 75% of the capacity sales. Let's see for the first question. You can see the same analysis of the variance what we have done it here, uh, page number 218. Um, yeah. So, here is the analysis of variance how it has been done. You can refer to this part of it. Uh, as a references and then what you have to do is first you have to calculate the sales volume variance uh, this is uh, again guys don't go with the numbers you might get different answers this is just a methodology you so you can follow the methodology to uh, get your correct answers okay selling price variance again how we are taking up and then it is favorable um, variable cost is like again uh, 4. Uh, 4. 4.50 to 4 uh, into 4000 is what uh, we could produce and then we have uh, unfavorable results out of it then fixed cost variance is rupees 1000 that is unfavorable total variances comes as addition of all and the losses goes minus then finally you will be reaching somewhere in the net favorable but again again uh, follow the approach you might get favorable or unfavorable as per the calculations okay and for the part B, uh, sales variance, again we are going with the same chapter for the sales variance. Sales variance we will see here. Yeah, sales variance. You can write down a little bit about theory about the sales variance and then we will um, move straight away with the calculation part of it. So first one is like you can look for the break-even point, fixed cost, variable cost and break-even point sales is fixed cost by variable cost to sales ratio. You will be getting somewhere here uh, 1,28,000. Again, uh, please don't go by these numbers. You follow the methodology, you will get the right answers. Profit at 75% capacity sales. Capacity sales, again, you have to calculate it and then uh, then you have the total variance cost 75% sales then total contribution margin then profit 75% capacity sales so these are like uh, uh, a, a way to calculate it you don't have to stick exactly to this one but if you have a better method that's absolutely fine this I try to make it as simple as possible for us to understand and uh, uh, write down your answers okay okay guys thank you so much